First at nine, the mother of a Pinson Valley High School football player describes losing him in a crash that police say involved an intoxicated driver. That three vehicle crash happened Saturday in North Georgia. The DUI suspect is a woman from the Birmingham area. She now faces charges, but tonight the mother of Rico English speaking to our Brady Talbert about the last word she heard from her son Brady and her message to other drivers. Yes, it's heartbreaking and a situation no parent ever wants to be in. Brooke Goodwin is the mother of Rico English. She showed me her son's bedroom and it's just as he left it. This football, Bible, and handwritten note with the Ten Commandments are the items left inside 18-year-old Rico English's bedroom. His mother says he was an honor roll student who had a deep passion for football. I hurt, you know, um, not having him here. Um, my son passed on what he loved to do. Um, he's been playing football since he could hold a ball. The Pinson Valley High School player, nicknamed Fudge, was on a trip to a football camp in Georgia when he died. An intoxicated driver hit a tractor trailer, which swerved and then hit the car English was riding in head on. I was hesitant at first. I was like, Atlanta traffic is so crazy. I was just like, well, he said, well, um, his teammate's dad was going, taking over. So I said, I felt more comfortable. Now that English is gone, this mother is heartbroken, but she hasn't lost her faith. She takes comfort in knowing what her son said to a teammate the night before that deadly crash. Fudge had told him, you know, I just wish my teammates uh, would get right with God and live right. Those were his last words. Last words she's living by. She says she has since forgiven that driver that caused that crash, but she doesn't want anything like this to ever happen again. Drinking and driving. You know, it's not just your life. You know, I didn't ask for this. It is a tragic story. The public is invited to a funeral service at the Tower Christian Church. That's in Center Point. It's happening on June 22nd from 12 to 2. Stephen Brittany.